Okay, part two, we're in Blender. Uh, what we'll do is get rid of the default cube and we'll get rid of the where is it default camera, like so. And then we'll add a new camera and move it up in line with the default light and add an empty and this is just so we can uh, control the camera move a wee bit better uh, so select the camera right click shift right click on the empty and then control P to parent hit the zero key so we're in camera view and we'll go to view background image and we'll load a background so let's find the box JPEG click and there we are the box JPEG now this uh, blend up the top we've got it 50 we'll just drag it up a wee bit to fade it because we need to line up the the grid line uh, with the box so what we'll do is we'll select the empty which controls the camera and we'll do a bit of rotating uh, to to get that all nicely lined up Oop. So just bring it round, bring it round, bring it round. Uh, that's looking pretty good. There, we'll just bring it. Now the lid's slightly open, so we've got to go by the bottom of the box, otherwise it's going to sort of throw all the throw a lot of geometry out a wee bit. Okay, so that's done, and then we add a cube, okay, and then tab, hit the A key to deselect, and I'm just going to cheat it here, um, select that one, hit the G, bring it down, right click on that one, hit the G, bring that one down, and just basically basically just match it by eye. Now the reason I'm going outside of the area is because we have an alpha which will naturally knock out um, the, the sort of extra overhang if you like of the box. This is, this is kind of a lazy man's way of, of doing the mapping. Okay so once we've done that hit tab again, split the area bring up the UV editor and back into tab again we're back into the uh, back into the edit mode hit A to select all we need, we need to be in edge mode here A to select all hit the U key and then we need this one here project from view ok and this, this appears in here we go to image open and let's go to the file that we cut out which is box 1 PSD open that image and then if we go to the draw mode here the draw type and go to textured go back to object mode we can see that it's mapped but it's actually mapped incorrectly it doesn't, it doesn't recognize uh, the edges so if we go to modifier UV project and then in OB, object, click there and type in camera and return and it's almost mapped correctly but we need to go to aspect X which is 1 at the moment and make it 1.3 and it's pretty much mapped correctly you can mess around with the, the settings to get it perfect then we need to make a texture for it. Click on text face and on A, which means use the alpha channel in the texture face, like so. And we can do a test render. And there you can see it's it's mapped on there. That's not quite right. So you can see that down here. Um, I need to s I need to go back into point mode, select this one, and 
just get it right on the edge much more correctly and on here as well really get those edges correctly lined up and then back to there we go and if I do another render of the current frame you can see how lined up it is and then if I select the camera and move it around you can see because I haven't applied the modifier that it's not sticking so to do that we need to click on there we need to go to the modifier here and click apply as soon as we do that select the camera again when we move it look at that it's mapped on to the cube